real test, the name that means topmost quality. In ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Look like anything, Lynn? Pretty good. Not too terribly good, though, does it? No, the bottom is a little ragged. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to create the effect of, of a whole cloud full of stars caught in the beautiful swag of soft jersey. The swag is there. Yeah, two or three. What do you think of the cloud of stars? Oh, they shine. They shine. Isn't it enough? Unbalanced. It needs balance of some sort. Well, got to have more artistic scenery here. That's the whole trouble. What we've been lacking in the show, just the plain background and the curtains here, they don't mean anything. You've got to have, got to have life. Got to have a little zest to give the show a... Got to have some, we ought to have some interesting lighting, too. I'll have to get to work on the spotlights. Like a, a single ray. Maybe I could put this over here in a single ray of a, of a spotlight piercing the darkness. And then the singer moves into the spotlight and sings. That ought to be good TV. I'll try it. Maybe that's kind of artistic. Or maybe the swag should be kind of like... Oh, that's pretty nice. We'll try that. We'll try that for the moon and the stars scene. If I could take these gold tassels... Well, Lynn, I know you didn't like it very well, but there's no use throwing it on the floor. I didn't touch it, Coach. Jack, did you? Doesn't touch it. I've seen Fran. I know Fran wouldn't do that. I want to have hang some heavy gold tassels here. Stage hooks down. <laughs> Who's on the other end of the line? Hey! <laughs> Wait a minute, Cecil Bill! I try to get some decent stage effects around here. I don't think that's any way to act. 
The whole trouble is around here that nobody's willing to cooperate with me. Well, I mean, we do a lot of singing and do a lot of numbers and everything. We don't have any staging. No one stages things. I, I... Pay attention to me. We don't have any staging of anything. And, and I thought it would be nice if we had a little extra scenery. The trouble with you fellows is, you, you're, you're willing to set up the scene and everything, but you have no creative feeling. You've got to have creative feelings to build, to create lovely scenery. That's what we need. This background's too plain. Well, it is. Well, I have in mind to do a do something special for a musical number. For instance, now you take a lovely song. Uh, a song is always lovely and everything, but in television, you can't just sing it. You've got to produce it. And, uh, for instance, for girls, there and the fellow's in love with a girl, and he's supposed to sing to her or something. Well, you can't just have him sing to her. You've got to have her in a balcony or something. And then the fellow comes in and, and it, you know, stages. <laughs> Well, I thought we could use that. Uh, I have something here. Something I think it's very beautiful. I designed it myself. It's a very lovely piece of. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> oh, here. Would you put it on the skyhook? Well, it's going to be sort of a canopy. You go and pull it up. Up she goes, go higher. That's better. Up. That's good. Up, a little higher, make it tight. Make it tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bill. Make it tight. Do, do, do. No! That's a bill! I said to make it tight. I did not say come inside. I said make make it tight. <laughs> and I get it up there, will you please? I want to try something. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, now make it fast, will you? Mm. 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 Oh, no, it looks pretty. You spread these things out like this, see? This would be sort of like a balcony, see? And then a... a you put this net like this, see? And then, then, uh, when you open it up kind of like that, and you let, you, the girl is inside. She comes out from inside. See, kind of, like, that's right. That's nice, see? But all the rest of the time, she's hiding inside the net, so the fella can't see her, but he knows she's there, and he sings a lovely song to her. And, and I think I'll rehearse it right now. Oh, my sweet. I know you are within your lovely bower, and I uh, have a lovely uh, song to sing to you. Um, it's a song that uh, I hope will touch your tender heart. You say you care, and all at once a million roses pour their perfume on the air. Say you can, and you put words to what the whippoorwills are singing everywhere. How oh, sweet, how oh, strange that all my loneliness should change into the loveliness we share. If you were there. Too high, and darling, I would even fly the sea just to hear you say you care for me. Oh, it's a sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, 
Well, Cecil Bill, what are you doing? Rehearsing. Well, I never knew that. And you came out of the bar. He didn't like it. Well, Cecil Bill, I... There's mercy he'd know you have her dress on. Well, don't let her find out. That's her very special dress. Graduation dress. <laughs> I never knew she had that hat, though. It's a beautiful hat. <laughs> well, you weren't supposed to sing the song, were you? Well, I don't think so. I, as a matter of fact, I, I think probably Cooper had someone else in mind when he staged that production. I think he did. I don't know, but... That's one of his favorite songs. Who is that? I don't, uh, I didn't really, uh, I don't know who was it. I don't know if somebody took my graduation dress. Well, nobody took it. Um, yes, they did. Nobody could take it, Mercedes, because... Yes, uh, they did. They took my graduation dress. I, I, I... Think <laughs> it could be a short pause for station identification. <laughs> Mercedes? <laughs> Oh, Mercedes, I'm awfully sorry. Did you hurt your head? Mm-mm. Oh, that's good. I got thick hair. Yes, you have it. That Your hair is beautiful. Thank you. When are we going to play uh, Jack? I don't know. I thought, God, in the weather, maybe you come over to my house tonight and we play dolls. Tonight? Yes, couldn't you play dolls with me tonight? Well, I, I could for a little while. It would be fun. I... I haven't any dolls anymore, though. Hmm? You know? You can play with one of mine. I'd be glad to give you one of my dolls. Well, thank you. If I can do that, that would be wonderful. I have one doll. Oh, well, she doesn't say Mama anymore, because that part's broken. Oh. And her eyes are broken, too. Her eyes? She's always asleep. Won't open anymore. No. And her nose is a little chipped. But she's a nice doll, and you can play with her. I'll let you play with her. What's her name? Emma. Emma. Mary Emma Jane. Mary Emma Jane. Well, that's a lovely name. I'll be very happy. Marjorie. Your doll's name, Marjorie? No, Mary Emma Jane Marjorie. She has no. all those names? Yes. Must be a big doll. Yes. Well, thank you, Mercedes. Well, I'll, I'll see you over at my house after. I'll come over as soon as you I come get come over to... after. After what? Just after. All right. Kukla? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> hello. Well, hello. <laughs> I was playing, I was playing I was a fish. A fish? Yeah, and I just, uh, <laughs> picked Snapped up the bait. The line? <laughs> yeah, what's this? I, it's something that Kukla has fixed. It's, um, special stage scenery, or it was. Good, good string. Good, strong string. Yeah, it's wonderful. What are we going to do, have another production? Well, I... That's good. That's what I'd like to do. I love nothing better than a good play. You want to be in it? Oh, sure. What part do you want to play? I don't know. What parts are available? I don't even know. Well, we're going to have, we could have, we could have, uh, moving scenery, and, uh, we could have, uh, revolving stages, and, uh, we could have, uh, uh, colored lights. Well, why don't you write a pageant, and we'll do a pageant. Tomorrow. All right. We could have showgirls with great big headdresses on their heads. Showgirls? Yeah, lovely long trains. They'd walk in, you know. Like that, see? <laughs> then they'd stand around the top of the stage and look beautiful. And I'd sing. You would sing? Yes. What would you sing? Oh, I'd sing some romantic ballad. Do you think that would be nice? Yes. I and think. I could wear a top hat and uh, my full dress uh, suit with the tails and a cape. And I could swing a cane and sing a, a very wonderful song. You know, something very romantic. I like that part, but I don't see why we have to have showgirls. Oh, it's nice. It's part of the stage. It makes it's good. It's, it makes a lovely picture on the stage. These lovely girls with a big headdress. Oh, I think we can find something else that'll do just as well. 
Oh, I don't think so at all, Fran. I do. No, sir, no, I don't think so at all. I think that's what we need in the show. Uh, maybe we could have, say, maybe 12 or 14 fellas that look just like Steve Canyon, maybe, in the <laughs> background, you know, with the... Maybe leopard skins and big clubs and things I like that. I never heard of anything like that on the stage. They don't do that. That's not the accepted thing. Oh, I've thing. seen things like oh, that. Oh, no, no. That's just in the circus or somewhere. I don't think necessarily the circus. No, you never heard of that. Yes, You have but showgirls I, on the stage. Well, why not be different? Why? Everybody has showgirls. Well, let's not be let's that different. Let's do something. Well, let's <laughs> I like it. I like that I idea. I don't like that idea at all. And then maybe on the other side of the stage, there might be, oh, 10 or 15 fellows who look just like Tarzan. Be real great. And they could, maybe we could have a, a water uh, show, a ballet maybe, and have the uh, fellas dive clear from the top of a big tank. And, and um, then maybe you have a whole bunch of cowboys and Indians run through. And a lot of fellas, a lot of wonderful big cowboys. It's got to be a great production. I'd like that. When's your show going to open? If you let me know, I might be able to come. Well, I don't, haven't decided yet. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to screen the people very carefully because I want them just right. No! Honestly. What's the matter? Hi. Hello. How are you? Oh, all right. How'd your production go? Collapsed. It did? Mm -hmm. I think your idea is a good one. I wish we could get rid of this. That's a bill. Pull it up. We can at least do that. I like the idea, and I thought I heard just a little bit of the song, and I thought it sounded beautiful. <laughs> just really wonderful. Oh, I don't think I did it right. I guess maybe I shouldn't stage things like that. Oh, I I don't know. I I just think you probably didn't have all the cooperation you might have had. Well, I like I like to I like I'm interested in stage design. I'm interested in in uh, building things and making making things look beautiful. We have to do a, a pageant someday, and then each each one build a certain part of it. Have his own scenery and, and write his own sketch. Sure. Could we do that? We could do that. Sure. I'd, I'd like to do I'd like to learn a little bit about stage design, scene design, set well, work. Well, I, I could give you a, a lesson right now if you'd like. Yes. Would you like one? I certainly would. Hold on just a minute. I know you must be very careful about having everything symmetrical and just right. Balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the first thing. Well, now... <clears throat> Now, this is a very interesting uh, type stage design. This is, this is the architectural stage design. Architectural. And also edible. Well, yes. It's a, it makes a great saving in, in uh, stage scenery. Because, <laughs> and first of all, these wonderful new seal test half-gallon uh, uh, containers here are so wonderful because they're, they're so wonderfully big. You know, two full quarts in every container. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, I don't have to tell you about that, you no. know. You know, a wonderful seal test ice cream is. Oh. Yeah, ice cream. Company parties and all the regular flavors in these these wonderful half gallons. They're very economical. Well, anyway, you take you take you see now. For instance, if I were building a stage, maybe uh, I was going to do a seal test review, say. Mm -hmm. See, and I might uh, write a song, some song saying, uh, well, maybe Jack would write it. Would say, uh, oh, I could start out, get the best. Uh, yeah, get seal test. That would mm -hmm. be, and then you could say, uh, seal test and you forever. That could be the ballad. Still testing you forever. Forever, uh huh. Yes, that would be nice. And uh, then, then you could say, uh, I love uh, strawberry. I love chocolate. I love vanilla. Two. Two. I love seal test, and I love you. That's nice. Would that work? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, well, then we'd build. Well, see, we'd work. We'd build this a sort of a step step arrangement, I think. With this, see, now this is the wonderful thing for on tour, especially when actors get hungry. It's a very intelligent approach. Yes, to this certainly. Thing. Because. When the actors get too hungry, then you can always <laughs> open up a half gallon and <laughs> feed them. Of course, your stage gets a little lower each time. Mm -hmm. But it, maybe we could last a tour. I like it that way. Yeah. like the color design. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty. Well, we could do it that way, like that. I could sing the ballad from up here. Oh, I think that's a wonderful Wouldn't idea. Would that be nice? I, I well, like and then we put, we put little extra ones here on the side, you see, kind of. Old tipped a little bit like that, tipped into the picture, you mm -hmm. see, like that, and one over here kind of tipped mm -hmm. in a little bit to the picture, like that. And then we put the showgirls up here on each one. <laughs> and then One standing here, one standing here, one standing here, one standing there. There won't be room with, the, with all the fellows that are there. Oh, well isn't that too bad. <laughs> I think there won't be room. Oh, 
Well, if we're going to have an argument right to begin with, we might as well give up. Oh, no, let's not do that. I think it'd be a very good idea, though, wouldn't you? Well, yes. Could I take these over and kind of practice and see what kind of designs Would I could like come up with? Would you like them? Yes. Stack them right now. Oh, hold on, hold on, both your hands. I don't want you to... Oh, it's dropping. I don't want to waste any. No. Yeah. Huh? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ollie. Oliver. Ollie. Ollie. Yes. <laughs> Why didn't you come the first time I called you? Because I wanted to hear you call again. I like the tone of your lovely little voice. Well, it's not the reason at all. No, it isn't, but it's the one I'm giving you. <laughs> Ollie, will you please come up here? What do you want, little master? <laughs> I'm not little master, I'm Kukla. You're my little master, and I, and I love you. Oh, oh! Ollie, behave yourself. <laughs> now just sit still and listen to me. This is very important. Stage design is a very important part of the theater. And it can become a very important part of television. Right, little master. <laughs> Pardon? Un petit impresario. I'm getting obscure. Sorry. <laughs> My small impresario. Now look, really, Ollie. Now the stage hook thing is a very good idea. A very fine thing. Let's see if we can't teach Fran a little bit about... How, how to work this, this, this hook business so that we can, we can teach her how to hang curtains and scenery. She's very interested in learning all about stage scenery. All righty, let's do it. Miss Allison? Yes, oh, Chief. No, I'm not the Chief. No? No, sir, no. Not today? No, sir, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm just, a uh, assistant. Well, this is the day. Hearken unto the little master. Oh, come on. Where? taking just about all I can stand of you today now. Coop and I are really serious about this, Ollie. Good. So am I. I've had a very trying day. What have you tried? <laughs> <laughs> That'll get him. That'll really fix him. <laughs> he gets too serious on these things. Well, uh, Ollie, I, I think we should give it very careful attention. No, I suppose so. All right, Coop, come on. I didn't mean to. I'll help you with this scenery. Well, you should now. I, I want to learn. I really do. Well, I'm going to let the, 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 the sky hook down here now. Watch out on Oh, there. Now, Fran, this is very important. Here, let me... Here, I'll get you the cord. Here's the cord. Okay. That's that's the one that you should... Uh, now, see, wait, if you were a stagehand, of course you aren't a stagehand. No. But, uh, are you taking care of everything? You bet. Uh... You, you, if you're a stagehand, these are things you should learn. Yes. See? Well, I want to learn. Then when we fasten a piece of scenery, say, Ollie uh, snaps up the curtain all along the line of the bat, you see. And uh, then you, uh, you, you pull it up on a given signal, you see. And then everybody stands there, stage manager tells you how high it should be and all that. See? Okay. You got that? Ready? So, uh, how about it, Ollie? Pull away. All right. Oh! <laughs> It couldn't happen twice in one week. It couldn't, but it did. Well, you have the, uh, you have the, uh, Well, won't uh, you join No, ma'am. No. Ollie! Ollie! Ollie, Ollie's come here. gone out to lunch. Ollie! Ollie! Wait, I'll get him. All right. Ollie, really? This infuriates me. Ollie! Well, how's the theater business? Going to be a big stage designer? Hark. My mother is calling me. My mother is calling me. Pardon while I go and see what mother wants with me. Well, maybe I can manage it. No! <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that to you for anything. My hair stays on. 
I wouldn't have left you holding the rope. I thought we were good friends. We're good pals, Francis. That's what I thought. You're real good pals. I, I'm your favorite fan. I love to hear you sing, and I love to watch you dance, and I love to hear you tell funny jokes, and I'd like uh, to hear you sing right now, Francis. You know, there's an old tune that been going around in my mind. It's called Ask Anyone Who Knows, and I just love to hear it. I ought to have better sense than this. You'll do it, though. I don't know. Ask anyone who knows. There is no shore without an ocean. Ask anyone There is no love without devotion. Ask anyone who knows. A dream can stray, lose its way. If it can't come true, night and day. drenched almonds, crisp, crunchy morsels, all through creamy Seal Test ice cream. That's what Seal Test has dished up for April, delicious butter almond ice cream. The nut sweet flavor of golden buttered almonds, a perfect party dessert. Crunchy almond bits in every luscious bite. What a treat for dinner. In fact, Seal Test Butter Almond Ice Cream is mighty wonderful eating anytime. So have it often. Ask your Seal Test Ice Cream dealer for Butter Almond Ice Cream. Get the best. Get Seal Test. This is Bert Tilstrom. I want to thank you on behalf of Kupla and Ollie and all the Kupla Pollock and characters. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you by the divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of Seal Test products. Always look for the name Seal Test. It's your assurance of purity, quality, and fine, rich flavor in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.